The answer to 1984 is 33 AD. Hello, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, in Ezekiel 38 and 39, there's an attempt to invade Israel by Gog and Magog, but God himself intervenes. The big question that's been debated for years is, who on earth is Gog and Magog? The dominant Christian view is that it's Russia, but I've not seen any evidence that convinces me that it's Russia. Now, I respect Chuck Misler greatly, but I have to critique his work because it doesn't hold up to scrutiny. In the following clip, he says that Russia is north of Israel. So those ancient labels are there to, to identify the peoples. Okay. And of the north quarters, now in the Hebrew, this has actually been adjusted to be the extreme parts of the north. What's extreme, uh, north and extremely north of Israel? What we would call Russia today. So if we take a look at this, Magog is up there in the north, and these various tribes attempt an invasion of Israel. But God is going to intervene to thwart this thing. Well, no it isn't. If we look at a map like this one and find Jerusalem here and put in a, a vertical line upwards, you might think that Moscow, the capital city of Russia here, is exactly north of Jerusalem, but it isn't, because the North Pole is the northernmost point of planet Earth. If we go over to Google Earth and find the North Pole here, it's flagged. Now, if I can rotate the Earth so that we get both Jerusalem and the North Pole on the same screen, bear with me. Now we connect Jerusalem to the North Pole in a straight line. Now, this line that I've drawn on screen is true north of Jerusalem. Moscow is here. And it's nowhere near north of Jerusalem. In fact, none of Russia is northwards of Jerusalem. Now I want you to pay attention to this patch here. I'm going to zoom in. I need to zoom in a few times. Remember, this line on screen is true north of Jerusalem and it cuts directly through Ankara, which is the capital city of Turkey. The Bible is phenomenally precise. Because Ezekiel 38 verse 15, talking about the Gog and Magog invasion of Israel, says, and they shall come from the north parts. Well, Ankara is directly north of Israel. So I've compiled 10 reasons why Turkey is the Gog and Magog of the Bible. Here's a few of those reasons. At number one, the seven churches in the book of Revelation we're all in Turkey. At number two, for thousands of years, Satan's seat was in Turkey. That's in Revelation 2, verse 13. Here's a picture of it, and it's currently in a museum. At number three, Ankara, the capital city of Turkey, is directly north of Jerusalem, as we've uh, just seen. And that's in Ezekiel 38, 15 and 39, 2. At number four, Noah's Ark landed in the mountains of Ararat, which is in southern Turkey, the source of the river Euphrates. At number five, Persia, which is modern-day Iran, shares a border with Turkey, and that's in Ezekiel 38.15. At number six, the fountains of waters are in southern Turkey, and they feed the river Euphrates. Again, that's in uh, Revelation 16.12. And a major reason why Gog and Magog is Turkey and not Russia is that the Bible says it's Turkey. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So if I break down these verses, the chief prince is the prime minister, the president. It's universally accepted amongst Bible scholars that Meshach and Tubal are two cities at either end of Turkey. They still exist today. So Gog is the land of Turkey, Meshach and Tubal are cities within Turkey, and the chief prince is the king, the president of the whole land of Gog, 
which we've identified as Turkey, 